Today we're going to talk about depths using planes. If you look at this uh, video, you look at the mountains at the back that's on one plane, there's probably another plane with a nearer mountain. Uh, but this, if you just look at this one plane video, uh, there's not much of a depth uh, comparing it to the first video uh, that I have shown you. You can probably see a few planes here, uh, the, the grass in front, there's a mountain that's a bit greenish in the middle, and then there's a grey out mountain right at the back. Three planes, and that's what we're going to talk about today. In my earlier tutorials, I'll put a link up here, I've discussed the idea of space in urban sketching and I've given you some example even from drawing, uh, such as this one where I talk about how to use lines and the, to create a sense of depth. But today we're going to use this simple uh, illustration to just describe how you can simplify uh, your sketch by thinking in terms of uh, planes. Uh, you start with two planes to, to create a foreground and background. Uh, we'll use this photograph to give you this example. So all right, we start with a blank sheet and what we're going to do is create the first plane in the background and that is the mountains at the back. I use a light blue to represent uh, that plane. Uh, another plane with trees in the foreground. Uh, now that if we combine the two, you will see that there is a certain amount of depth uh, that you can create with this two-plane approach. A uh, very simple concept, nothing complicated. As you can see, it's a very simple uh, two-plane approach to create depth in uh, the sketch. Th the idea is that you can translate this to any sort of uh, you know image or sketch. So now you can use examples like uh, this photograph where there are people in the foreground. You put that in one plane and the rest of the figures and stuff, you can put it on the background or the second plane. You can also play around with close-up like this or even macro shot where the cups, uh, the pot and the hand is in the foreground plane and the rest of the blur out images can be in the background plane. By doing this, you will create a sense of depth in your sketches. So the, those examples are two planes um, now you can look at this and look at potentially creating a third plane uh, which will of course create even more depth to your sketch. The grass in the foreground, uh, the green mountains in the midground, and the grey out mountains in the background. So in the same way, let me simplify this uh, sketch. Uh, the first plane would be the grey out mountains right at the back, the background. Uh, you can add a second plane which is a bit more green, a bit more fresh in colours, uh, the, the mid-ground and of course the foreground would be the grass and I use kind of yellow just to symbolise it and together you would see the depth of a simple sketch of a three plane. So it doesn't matter whether you use a two plane sketch uh, which is the simplest of the lot or a three plane sketch or multi planes sketch it doesn't really matter. You can use it to symbolize mountain. You can use it to symbolize a cafe scene like this, or uh, even a close up shot of teapots and whatever, whatnot. The idea is just simply to give depth to your sketches. So I hope with this little tip for today, you can smash more sketches out of the park uh, with more consistency and have fun with it. So. Have a good day and stay safe wherever you are. Bye for now.